All right, guys, special episodes coming up. Spending some time down here in Mississippi, and I'm just now rolling on to a very, uh, I don't know, dirty, hardest Mississippi lake. Look at this. They got a lot of rain, I guess. So there's a lot of debris in the water. So we're going to be, uh, it's springtime. We're, we're on the search for a three pound crappie. So we're going to hit the back of these coves. This spawn is just about to get started. And uh, we just left engineering uh, boat ramp and we are about to embark on a, an incredible couple days, beautiful weather, and hopefully some big slabs for you. So stay tuned. We're going to be putting this thing around my neck. You're going to be seeing all the action. Catching Mississippi slabs on Sardis. That's where we're going to start. All right, guys, as we get started here, we're, uh, we're getting into a cove. I'm not that familiar with all the names and all that good stuff, but I can tell you that there's a lot of timber here, so I feel good about it. We've got a shallow creek going into it, and um, yeah, that's where we're going to start. So um, almost got hung up on a sandbar or a, a silt bar, I guess, as you might call it. This mud water is muddy as I'll get out, and uh, all of a sudden you run into a one foot uh embankment and you uh well you go real slow <laughs> so anyway we're here check out the timber you gotta love it mississippi doesn't get any better and i uh, got the hog net to my right as we're trolling to kind of get away from these waves right now to kind of get a little deeper in the cove but i got my hog net positioned to my right I'm fishing with my 13 footer sniping braid. I re-spooled with Optimize last night for all these reels that I'm gonna be using. So that's what I'll be using. And uh, here we go. There's our first Sardis slab. Mm. Man, that's a male. All right, so, yeah, no, it's a young female, that's for sure. Anyway, there's a great start, folks. Good starting fish for Sardis. Letting them go, of course. We're not keeping them. And uh, we're just working our way into this cove and uh, Right now, at this point, finding them in the creek bed, in the uh, in the dirt. Look at this guy in the dirt. There he is. There he is. Oh. skinny fish right now but good fish yeah there's a good looking fish right there you guys have never been to Sardis Sardis it is in a town called Batesville up here he comes oh and he did hit it um, I've never stayed here um, I don't even know where, to, where I'll be staying this evening, to be quite honest with you. That'll dictate, my fishing today will dictate where I go tomorrow. All right, well, this is our biggest fish so far, and I think that might hit the two pound mark, and he is. She was in the dirt. Look at that slab. We might keep that one for pictures. Oh man. That's a good fish. Chase that one around quite a bit. Let me talk to you guys for a second. Fish. Solid fish. Make for a good picture fish. Yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about the hog nuts. When I go out and fish by myself, I love, I love the six foot handle. Light, easy, 
okay, with a good size basket right there. That's the six foot handle. If you're gonna go out there and you're not a tournament angler and you want a net, that is what you want is the six foot handle. I think it's the easiest one. Now, if you're going out with a buddy and you want some extension, that's obviously the six by 12. Crappie brakes are helping me out a ton today. But right now they want small baits. And uh, again, like I said, I think I'm gonna move out towards the creek a little bit and see if we can't find some bigger boys out there. Even though the wind is up, I think that's the right choice. Ooh. Good fish here, folks. And that's our first legitimate slab right there. Check that out. Wow. Being all over me. Great fish. Mm, you gotta love it. All right, first move of the day. Uh, I don't know if we got out of the wind that much. We're just gonna keep going back of this cove. Check it out. There's another boat over there. It looks like they might be leaving, so I don't know if that's a good sign or not, but regardless, I see some fish on the, the sonar, so we're gonna fish it and see what we got. So, beautiful, warm day. Uh, water temperature here is 64 degrees, just so you guys know. And um, right now we're midday. All right, take a little break. Changing jigs. I've gone through a lot of different jigs. The 132nd ounce worked really well. Um, I've gone back to a 116th since then. Every time I change jigs though, I do put the crappie formulation on. And uh, it's kind of been a routine now. I can tell you that in a, uh, one of my guide trips, we, uh, <laughs> here's the bottle. This bottle is almost empty. Um, it was amazing what we feel was a complete difference once we added that crappie formulation uh, to our hair jigs. We were having a stingy bite. We both put it on. All of a sudden we started getting bit. And so we put it, for the rest of the guide trip, That's we put it on the entire time. So check out crappie formulation at the, um, go to baitpop.com. And that crappie formulation is really something else. Let's catch some fish. I just put it on. Let's see if we can make it react. Good fish here. Good fish, good fish. Yeah. <laughs> First fish with the crappie formulation. First big fish here at Stardust. That's at least, that's very, cutting really close to a two pounder. Good fish right there. That's what you want here at Stardust. Woohoo! This is awesome, dude. Love it. I'm gonna let him go, obviously. Um, again, you saw how easy that was with a six footer. Super light. Love it. Check them out. <laughs> Another dandy fish, guys. Hey, this is going to end this uh, episode of Sardis. Enjoyed it. What a day. Another beautiful fish here. And uh, thanks for watching. Please do me a favor, subscribe. The uh, Elite Series event should be coming up here shortly. Uh, we're going to do num numerous episodes here. We're going to let that guy go. Numerous episodes here in Mississippi. Different lakes all year round gonna have some fun this year's gonna be different the only tournaments i'm doing right now are the elite crappie master series and you'll get to follow along there uh, but that's freeing up a lot of time for guide trips that's freeing up a lot of time to do these types of trips and show you some special legs so thanks for watching guys